BBC Radio 4, the news at three o'clock. Russia has told NATO representatives to leave the country and has cut off all contacts with the alliance because of its bombing of Yugoslavia. Moscow is also planning to offer Yugoslavia humanitarian aid. Here, Tony Blair told a conference of the Labour Party in Wales that if Britain walked away from Kosovo and its people, it would be a betrayal. In Brussels, senior NATO officers have given further details of the effects of the raids. Air Commodore David Wilby said that several Yugoslav aircraft had been shot down during the first night's conflict. I can confirm that three MiG-29 Fulcrum were shot down, one over Kosovo and two over the Central Federal Republic. Our operations continue and you can expect us to maintain our careful and systematic campaign to interdict, disrupt and to neutralise the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia's integrated air defence systems. The Burmese opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi has rejected an offer by the regime's authorities to allow her to visit her British husband who is seriously ill with cancer. Previously, there have been concerns that she would not be allowed back into Burma. The Chelsea football coach Graham Ricks has been sentenced to 12 months in prison for having sex with a 15-year-old girl. Ricks, a 41-year-old father of four, had pleaded guilty at an earlier hearing to one count of unlawful sex and one of indecent assault. Detectives investigating the murder of a jeweller and his wife have arrested two people. Mohammed and Belkis Karim were repeatedly stabbed at their shop in Preston in Lancashire last Friday. Their bodies were discovered by one of their sons. Lady Thatcher has visited the former Chilean dictator General Pinochet at his home in Surrey. Lady Thatcher thanked him for the support he gave Britain during the Falklands conflict. The former dictator said it was an honour to see her at his house on the Wentworth estate. BBC Radio 4 News.